Listen, we want you to get out there and work out at the gym if that's your thing, but you might be a little bit hesitant because of all the germs. Absolutely. This is the time of year. It is absolutely jam-packed, and there's sweat everywhere. It's like the cesspool of grossness. <laughs> so there's certain things you should do to keep yourself, you know, germ-free. Absolutely. As you said, I mean, during this time of year, I, as a personal trainer, start to get sick, and it's just yeah. germs after germs. And so, you know, I've kind of picked up some neat little tools that you can adopt to make sure that you don't get sick during this time of year. Okay. Okay, let's start with the obvious ones, but ones that for some reason not everyone does. Because we get lazy. Because we get lazy, yes. wiping down the equipment. Wiping down the equipment. I mean, it sounds, as you said, so obvious, yeah. but having a towel, um, most gyms actually provide antibacterial wipes. Yes. Um, you know, using those antibacterial wipes, or even your towel, if that's the worst case scenario, really helps kind of make sure those surface germs are taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, and adopting, you know, a methodology where you wipe before and after. Yeah is going to give you that extra caution as opposed to just kind of doing it after and then forgetting to do it because you got thirsty and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Be courteous to the next person using that machine. Exactly. I remember that step. I often don't do it beforehand, so that's right. a bad thing. Exactly. Right, exactly. Okay, so what about uh, if you were doing a yoga class, you've got the mats there. You can be a little bit safer by... Bringing your own. Bring exactly, your own bringing your own. And I mean, that, that kind of goes hand in hand with the whole, you know, wiping yeah. of the germs situation. So when you bring your own mat, you know, you're ensuring that they're your germs, which are mm -hmm. happy germs, so not a problem. Um, you know, you bring your own mat, and again, you know, just making sure that even with your own mat, you know, if it's moist or it's damp at the end, you really want to wipe that down as well because yeah. moist, warm environments are where germs really tend to, you know, multiply and germinate. Absolutely. That's why some people don't want to do hot yoga. I love hot yoga, but just yes. be clean about it, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, you've got the flip-flops here for a reason. So, um, you know, change room showers Ugh. and bathroom floors are every girl's best friend. <laughs> uh, we want to really make sure that, you know, we're not taking those, um, you know, germs from the floor onto our feet and, yeah. you know, contracting things that can not only lead to the cold and a flu, but also rashes and things like that, athlete's yeah. foot in particular. Um, and so, you know, it's really important that you bring your flip-flops again if they get wet in the shower you want to make sure that you dry them off before you put them on the next time as well because it's that moistness again that's going to lead to those germs multiplying so make sure that you have your flip-flops when you go to the gym right and then when it comes to water you've got to hydrate you've got to drink constantly yes. but you don't necessarily have to use the fountain no that's like an elementary school mouth on fountain spout situation which yes. we tend to get and we want to avoid yeah so the best thing you can do is bring your own water bottle you know your sure then that the hygiene is safe. If you need to refill, you know, you can either use the tap or the water cooler or again the water fountain if you need to. Yeah. Just be sure not to put the actual water bottle right up Ugh. to the nozzle. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, again, making sure that you then rinse your water bottle with soap, you know, at least once every other day at minimum because, again, it's that moistness in that water bottle that's going to lead to those germs multiplying. Absolutely. Now, this time of year, so many people are using the gym and they're actually, they've got colds and they're sneezing and yes. stuff. So you have to be extra, extra cautious careful. about using the equipment. But really good tips. Great. Thanks so much. All right. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us.